Morning and welcome back. So it's all go year at the moment. We've currently got this box is in for a full conversion. That box is in for a full conversion. We got a Favaro year for a diesel eater, an ambulance year for a full conversion. And we've also got a crafter there that's in for three windows and two skylights. So a bit busier today, but there's a reason it's a bit busier year today. It's the 18th. And it's the day our van builder started with us. So we actually had to give 11 weeks notice on his past job to join us. Welcome Shane. Hello, thank you for having me. <laughs> so yeah, there's finally two of us here. So Shane's come to us with actually quite a bit of experience building vans. He's built quite a few vans in the past and recently. You may have just noticed our workbench is gone. So we was using them on top of these and you can just see there we had an 18 mil ply then we put a five and a half on then another five and a half and it was starting to bow under the weight which was causing us problems on the track so so it's like right time to do a proper one now so we've been out this morning bought the four by two we got two frames we're currently doing so we're going to do a shelf on the bottom and then the bit on top and we got 18 mil ply then to ply the top with and that is what we're currently doing and when this is done I think we're going to do the diesel eater first, so we're going to get the little van in here, get that diesel eater done, so that's one out of the way. And then we're going to bring the crafter in, which is in for three windows and two skylights. We're going to get that done, get that leak tested, and then that's that out of the way. And then we can focus on the two vans in the bays here. So we're going to be doing the two simultaneously. The one in here, this is our customers from New Zealand and this is having motorhome windows and I'll go through the layout on this one a bit later on and it's quite an in-depth van, this is all electric this one's having bonded windows and again it's all electric, just a bit more basic on the electric so yeah, we're going to do the two at the same time there's two of us here now, so it's like right let's get a nice new bench done so we've got something solid to work from
Sorry guys, battery died and we didn't notice, but that is the bench done. So we've just done it with a shelf on the bottom and a nice solid top and we've done it so we can replace the top now. That's done, so we're gonna get this fan out a minute and get the diesel eater van in. Right, we got the Vivaro in. Just cut the hole and we're just taking the burr off. And then, oh, we'll get some hammerite on it. And while the hammerite's going off, we'll give that a bit of time. We'll then prep the diesel eater, which we always do out here, because it's just a lot, lot easier. And then we can drop it in. Right, so I've just taken the diesel out of the box. As I said earlier, it's just easier to fit these up here on the bench and sort of put them in place when it's all been assembled. Now, we always change the bottom plate that comes with it is this one here. And we change that over for the mountain turret plates. Just protects the van floor a bit better and sort of the pieces coming out. We also get rid of the green line because it falls apart and we're going to upgrade that to the clear line. Now on this van, quite often we always, we can go into the top of the fuel centre at the top of the tank house. Like the Takatos, we can do that inside, but on a lot of the other vans you can't do that. You've got to drop the tank to get to it. But unfortunately this van is about 20 years old and the bolts under there you can see are seized, rusted. It would need a blowtorch for us to be able to undo them most likely and obviously when you've got a plastic diesel tank that it's being surrounded by, we ain't doing that. So we're just gonna fit this tank in the rear so they can have a separate dedicated tank for the diesel eater. Now, I did tell them to get a H calorie one, which this one is not, I don't even, I don't even think it's actually got a brand, so. Fingers crossed it'll be all right, but we will get some diesel in the tank and get it tested for them to make sure that everything's working perfect on it. Right, so the diesel eater is actually fitted under this rock and roll bed just by there. I'd like to have put it in that sort of section where you could just see my finger by there. But underneath there was a chassis, we couldn't do it, so we've brought it as tucked it in as much as we could. You've also got the axle and there's an exhaust. Because it's a smaller van, there's a lot more stuff under this, so there's not so much free space. Now, the only other thing, we did plan on putting the diesel tank. We wanted to put it here but we couldn't do it, it was a little bit too high, it was sort of coming just to up there. So what we've had to do is we've mounted it just in the side beer, it's out of the way. Pump and the filter are both in there, which in a way is probably better because it's tucked out of the way, it's nice and safe. Just means when he fills he's gonna have to use a filter. You're gonna have to excuse my voice, I'm still coughing my guts up at the moment, I wish this cough would bloody do one. It's doing my head in. Now, while I remember, I want your guys help actually because one of our customers, it's the one from New Zealand, okay, so they've bought this fan, obviously, I say blind, it's not blind, they sent an AA guy there and they had like an AA inspection done on it and it's a good van. But what we didn't notice is that it's got like these slam handles on it and a like a deadbolt type thing there, so instead of having these nice lever handles, it doesn't move. And the problem that's causing me is it won't allow this side loading door to be open from the inside, which obviously is no good. So what I have done is I've bought a spare handle. Now, can I just swap that over and just hopefully the cables haven't been adjusted inside and I can just clip them all back in. So I'm hoping that's gonna be a nice swap over. If not, is there an easier way for me to do that other than changing the whole side loading door? Because we've got the markings on it to put the window in it, but I don't want to put the window in it if that's going to be a big problem and the whole door needs changing because of it. Right, so we've just been priming the filter. We've got the outlet, it's just down beer. Now, to be fair, I actually wanted to put the outlet, tuck it in the corner here, but the 
pipe that came with this brand was, God, a foot long. It wasn't very long at all. We've got the controls just up here. Again, I'd like to have got it a bit higher, but couldn't do it. That's as long as the cable is. So it's primed. We're just going to let it run through. We've put a bit of diesel in the tank, obviously, to get it, get all the lines primed. And we want to test it, make sure that's working. So that's running quite nicely now. The exhaust and air intake's all sorted underneath. But that was tricky, because like I said earlier, there's so much stuff under there, it was just hard getting it. You, you've got to mount it to a chassis, you can't mount it to the actual floor, because it's only a couple of mil thick at best. So we had a bit of fun with that, but we got it done. Now, the days run away with us. Our plan was to get the workbench built, get the diesel heater in this one, and then we wanted to get the other van in and do all the cutouts for the windows and skylights, treat it, and then come in the morning and make a crack on with that. But it's about half three, so I think. So we're just gonna test this diesel eater for the next sort of 10, 15 minutes, make sure that's A-OK. -okay. Get this van outside. We're gonna get the crafter in here ready for the morning, but we're not gonna start cutting holes in that today. Maybe we'll get some markings on it ready. Right, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Right, this week now, we've got the diesel eater out of the way. It's all about windows and skylights. So we've actually got this crafters in for three windows, two skylights. We've got four windows, two skylights on this one, but I've actually already done one skylight because we did a how-to video, which may or may have not come out yet. And then we've also got the other van, which has got two skylights and three or four windows. I think it's, it works out, we've got about 15 windows and five skylights or something. As this one's only in for just the windows and skylights, we're going to get this one done first and then we can get this one tested because he did have some water leak issues around the archway, which with what he's done, we think it's been sorted, but we said obviously when we test with water on our windows and skylights that we'll just check all that area for him and make sure that's all now sorted. This is out, we can get the other boxer back in and then, yeah, we got an awful lot of windows and skylights to do which I've shown windows, I've done a video on a skylight, but I'll just quickly show you. Shane's been up and actually done these ones up here. So we're having a Max fan on the front beer and a Sky Max on the rear. And I think the roof could do with a bit of a clean, but it's been cut, it's been filed and treated. And you can just see Shane in the shadow down there. Hello. <laughs> Right, so we've been trying out the new bench today, proper working on it, much better, much more solid, a bit more beef to it, so happy with that. Now need to get rid of those. These are windows for in here, these are some batteries for the other two boxes. We've also got, got an inverter charge there and some bits for there. We've also had an order for one of our electrical boards, so I am going to have to make time this week and get that built as well so we can get that sent out for him. I say sent out, it's gonna weigh an absolute ton, you'll have to pick it up. Right, I'll pick you guys up in a bit. So it's been a busy week, it's now Friday afternoon and we did the crafter which had three windows and two skylights. We had the boxer in bay two, which is having bonded windows. We've done the sliding door opposite and the two rear doors. And these have got the built-in fly screens and sliding openers so you got the two and something you don't often see is openers in the rear as well they've also got the sliding windows and the fly blinds we've done the first fix electric I've just got to do the bed USB lights and it's had two skylights put in which is just the normal sky maxes on both sides and then next door these are having the motorhome windows and uh, that's just one in the sliding door one opposite and then for skylights we've got a max fan at the front and a sky max at the rear and today we've actually done the solar on the roof so the boxer over there has got a victron 175 i'll see if i can show you And the other one beer has got one of our 445s on, which the ladder still here because we've just done the entry gland for it. That's beer. We've just got to tie up these cables. We'll bring that one up here and have them go up there. We use these little, I don't know if you can see them. 
those little cable clips but I said that's just been sealed down so it's got to wait on it a minute so we let that go off and in a couple of hours we can sort them cables out so we thought while we're waiting because we're still also waiting for the solar gland on the other van to go off we've had the seat base come through so I got one of these single seats and this one I've actually got two I got a gray one and then the gray and red dotted one but it matches the interior on this fan, which is having a single seat. So we're gonna take the double out, put this single in, but it came without a base. So I bought a separate base, but it came, it was quite badly beaten up in terms of the paint work. So we've jet washed it, dried it, and it's had a lick of paint, and that's looking much better. We're gonna dry this off, get that seat fixed onto that. And as it's dubbed, we might as well rip the double out. And check the single in, Shane. And that's the single seat in, said so they match. Yes, it's a driver's seat, this is on the wrong side. But to get the passenger one with us on this side costs a lot, lot more, which doesn't justify it. We've got swivel plates to put on both of these. And that's sitting nicely now on the new single one. And we've got a pass-through to be able to get into the back. So all we've done back here so far is we've started filling the holes in the floor with rivets and treating it. They've done the sound deadening. Some of these bottom panels need a bit more. That one's missing one, as is that side. Oh, and also, I said earlier in the video about the slam handle. Yep, we did it. I've not done one of these before, but there was four bolts on the back holding it on, and thankfully the template of the, the old slam handle is exactly the same as the genuine one. So that's now working. And more importantly, it can be opened from the inside as well. So that's all sorted. We were worrying that we were gonna have to change the whole door, which would have been a much, much bigger bill. So we bypassed that. I'll tell you what we do is we got the two van jar and even told you the layouts, okay? So let's have a quick look. Okay, so this one, this is the New Zealand van, is having a bench seat coming down here with a table here. These are both going on swivels. Behind the bench seat, there's gonna be a shower toilet room. And then there's a 1350 double that's transverse coming along here. And then you're gonna have a kitchen that comes out to here to the normal place halfway through the door. And then this van is having two fixed seats with seat belts here, with a table again here, a very small kitchen area here. I think that'll just be the fridge with a worktop on top because it's having a king size bed going across. So it's a 1500. So because we normally, we always have to take one of these out to make a double, but the king size actually comes to about here and we don't want to lose a second one. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it out but re-weld it back over here. That will give us then a 1500 bed here and then again it'll be a kitchen from here to about halfway on the door. Up front we're putting the three front seats on swivels. Now the singles are quite easy because you just lift a tab and it, it spins. Whereas with the doubles there are there's a lot more to it and they're a bit of a pain in the butt but if you need to do it it's a way around it and they have like thumb turns so there's normally between four and six thumb turns in the base you've got to take those out then it swivels and then you've got to put the thumb turns back in when it's in the reverse position so I said it's a bit more fiddly but doable i've got a double seat here if anyone wants it they're welcome to it we have got another single and i had this one cheap you can probably see why but what I thought that might be good for is if someone wants the front seats upholstered, which we have actually got one coming up where they want it, the two front seats to be upholstered and matching. So the foam on it's good, it's just dirty and a bit scraggy on the actual material. So Shane, what are we doing now? Uh, early knockoff, you said boss. Early knockoff, what time is it? <laughs> it's, oh, it's only 20 past one, oh, it's, it's, it's a little early, bit early. early. Right, so what we're gonna do, I'm actually going away, we don't know if we're going to Scotland or Ireland yet, because the Easter holidays from today. Um, so we're gonna go away for a week and Shane's gonna be here by himself next week, so I've run through things for him to do. He's gonna be doing the floor in this van. Uh, we've got the insulation, ceiling insulation, ply line the ceiling, there's tongue and groove in this area, carpet for the bed, and the rest say is tongue and groove. Um, he can batten, 
insulate and ply line the floor. And I said, if he manages to get through all that in the week, then he can basically do it all over again in the van next door. But before he does that, I have got to do the two bed USB lights here. Um, we've got the solar cable coming through. But I don't want to touch that yet because the grommet I know up top is still going off. But we need to cable tie that and also get that down. The electrics in this fan are in the garage. Whereas the one next door, it's in under it's under the bench seat. And then I'm gonna show you, we've actually got an ambulance here. Now this fan has been converted previously, but the new owner wants it redone to obviously suit him. And the electrics were in a bit of a mess, so we're gonna redo the full electrics on it. I don't know if I got enough space. But we got this bad boy to convert as well. This is in the grey Raptor paint, which is quite nice. But I'll show you quickly inside. I don't know, does that, oh, it does open it. Right. Oh, and you have a, normally I can't open it, it's too close to the unit, but that step will drop down. He's got, he said he had some PIR board, but look at that. <laughs> Straight walls. Yay! Well happy for that. So yeah, really excited to do this. So a nice little electrical system going in it. But for now, we need to get these two done. So it's now sort of late mid-March. This fan, they get you from New Zealand mid-May. So we've got plenty of time for this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep it there and we're going to be working on it as and when. But this build is a lot more simpler. So we said we're going to focus this one get this one finished, get the ambulance in here, and then as there's two of us, said we can work on the two at the same time, which will be great. And then we can go from there. So Shane, shall we, what are we doing? Unloading that van. Oh yeah, we've just been a Wix to get loads of pliers all in the back of the van. Do you want to bring it around the front, beer? He's now been insured on it, so he's keen to have a go at driving it. Shane, have you got your van keys? Yeah. Can we have a look in your camper? You really want it's open. So Shane's also got a camper, as I said earlier. Shane's actually converted about, what, five, six fans? Five. Five. It's a bit messy at the minute. I haven't, uh... It's been messy. I, to be fair, I've put him on the spot. So this is Shane's van. Max fan at the front, mate. Yeah. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. Warm in here, yeah. Lights. All his lights. So Shane is a bit of a festival goer. You like all the... Uh... I like download uh, Planet Rockstar, you know, Steelhouse. Bloodstock, yeah, anything that's rock or metal, that's right up my street. So in this one, I've got uh, 175 watts of solar on the front, right on the top. Sorry, uh, I've got a 3,000 watt inverter, powers my 2 volt 40 volts, runs my microwave, toaster, coffee machine. Got gas, hob and sink. It does everything we need for a full weekend away. But you haven't got lithium. I haven't got lithium. No, that is the only. When I, I did it on a bit of a budget and I was in a rush because my T4 broke down, failed the MOT, M so I bought the van. I had two weeks to convert it from a bare van and only £1,800 budget. So I did it all myself on £1,800 in two weeks. Not bad. Bish bash bosh. Bish bash bosh. But we are going to do some upgrades in you. And the first thing we're going to upgrade is you've got to have some lithium. I think I could do with some lithium. If you're a vanology worker now, you've got to have yeah. lithium in I, you. I could it's do with a hoodie as well, but. All right, I, let, let's get this straight. I did order him a hoodie, right, but he's only two foot tall. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and it was like a 90 on him, so we've ordered him some new ones. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, they actually come in today. I've had an email say, but they're getting delivered to the home address, not to you. So, yeah, we're going to do some lithium in you, and you said you want to do some other upgrades, didn't you? Yeah, I, I do something with the bed. The bed isn't isn't ideal. That was a rush job, uh, which I did two years ago, and I haven't done anything with it since life and work gets in the way yes it does so there you are a bit of background but yes as i was saying we've been to wix so we had to pick up some more ply kingspan battens we wanted to make sure there was plenty of stock here for shane when we're away next week so there's plenty for him to do and oh well i remember another thing okay so at the moment we people are contacting us through so many different ways because you've got whatsapp you've got instagram youtube facebook email telephone text message right and they're doing that through all the vanology sort of ways 
but then we've also got our other channel and people are also contacting us through all those methods on the other channel so I think we worked out there was like 17 different ways people are contacting us and I can't keep up it's too many places so if you do need you know, if you want any advice on something, you're looking to get more information on like having a van conversion, please either use our website or email address only because they're just going to get lost. There's too many places and we're trying to sort of collate them all, but there's just too many requests coming in and we can't keep up. Right, we've got a couple hours left of the day, so I think what we might do is get some preparation on this van for him I noticed we haven't put the bolts back in and sealed them in because you can see right through to the floor so there's about six or eight on these so we're gonna put these in just seal those down and then I'm probably gonna spend the last sort of couple of hours just running through everything with Shane just to make sure he's happy with what he's got to do so we're gonna get these materials off and then we're gonna go in and enjoy our Easter holidays so we'll catch you next time <laughs>